In order to set up the Xiaomi motion detector, the first thing you've got to do is go to your SmartThings Groovy IDE page. Um, make sure that you've got the right hub. Uh, if you've got more than one, select the one that you want it to connect to. If you then go to My Device Handlers, and you select Create New Device Handler, and you go From Code. What we're going to do then is we're going to go to the GitHub. Uh, there's various different uh, uh, users of uh, smart things who've created device handlers for all manner of devices, from motion detectors, uh, fire sensors, uh, sirens. Uh, but what we're going to do is we go to this particular one for this instance. Uh, it's B Spranger. Uh, it's forked from the A Refill Pad. Uh, uh, device handler so if we go there I'll put a link in the uh, description and then we go to the device types as you can see we've got two different motion t detectors we've got the Akara ones and we've got the older version but what we want in this instance is the Akara motion detector so if we click that here you can see the code. We don't want to post this directly into your device handler. What we need to do is need to look at it in raw format. Once it's in raw format, we can select all of the code that's on the page, copy it, go back to your device handler, select paste, and then what we want to do is press create. That's now created a device handler for your motion sensor. And then what we want to do is we want to publish it. Uh, you can publish it generally, but what you want to do is select publish and for me. As you can see, it's got created smart device and the device type has published successfully. If you then go to your device handlers, you'll see you've got a new published device handler for the Xiaomi Akara motion sensor. At the moment, uh, you've still got to pair the sensor, uh, so that's what we're going to be doing next, uh, but you needed to get this done before you can move to the next stage. Okay, in order to pair your device, what you first need to do is if you look at the, on the side of the sensor, you'll see a very, very small button. Uh, this is going to take several amount of presses in order to uh, set it into pairing mode. Uh, so it takes roughly between 6 and 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ah, we've got 9 on that one. And then what we do is once that starts to flash, you can go over to your uh, Smart Things app, and if you select to add a new device, at the moment it's looking for devices hopefully this should pick this up without any problems it can take several minutes to uh, to find uh, the Xiaomi uh, pairs uh, so all you can really do I mean you may have to do it once or twice in order to get it to uh, to pick up but generally it does it first time so I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't be able to get it to work first time in this instance uh, so we'll just sit there and wait for it to, uh, to pick up. Essentially, uh, I'm going to pause the video and when it comes up, then we'll move on. Okay, there we go. It's now paired. Uh, if you look at your device in further, you can see uh, that it's now on your devices. You can get it now to sense uh, movement and in this instance, uh, luminosity, so brightness of light in the room. But there you go, that's the uh, Xiaomi motion detector uh, setup and pairing and I'll see you next time. Bye.